All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to install Microsoft SQL Server on Unraid. And this allows you to use Microsoft's database. So to do that, it's actually pretty simple. We're just going to go over here to the app section. And then once we're over here, we can just search for SQL Server. And we have this up. Uh, so we have MS SQL Server right here. And we're just going to hit install. And then the only thing that you really have to change on here is your password. So I'm just going to make mine pass all our case. I know it's not secure, but I'm going to blow this away after this video anyway. So if we go down here and all we have to do is hit apply, it's actually going to build out the container, which is um, pretty quick. All right, so now that we have it uh, installed, all we got to do is come over here and hit done. And then we're going to go over here to our Docker containers. All right, so now that we're in our Docker area, we can go down here to where it says MS SQL Server. And we can go ahead and log into the council. Um, I'm going to show you how to set up a, a web GUI probably in a different video. But for now, we're just going to go into the council. And I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to blow this up a little bit, just make it easier to read. So the first thing we want to do is we want to use the SQL command, and that's in this path right here. You'll find the SQL command. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tell it we want localhost, and we want the user to be your service account. So we're just going to go ahead and hit enter and it's going to ask us for a password. So I'm going to paste that password in there and we're going to have it here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to select name from system-databases <clears throat> and this is going to give me a list of the databases that's already on my system. So if you notice when I hit enter, nothing happens. That's because in SQL Server, um, we, for the command line, we're going to have to hit go. So now we see that I have the master, the temp database, the model, and the MSDB. So what I'm end up going to do next is I'm going to want to create a database. So if I create a database, I call it test, and then I'm just going to get my semicolon, and I'm going to select name from SYS databases, semicolon, and you notice nothing's happening here, <clears throat> and this is because I can daily chain my create statement and my select statement, and then if I wanted to put an insert statement down here, well, I wouldn't do an insert there. I would have to create a table first, but if I wanted to create a table and then do an insert, um, I can, and I can daily chain my commands. So let me go ahead and just put go here to run both those commands, and then what we're going to see is we're going to see that the database is created and we're going to run the select name. So we have it right here, that test database. So the next thing I want to do is I want to use that database. So I'm going to have to do use test semicolon and I'm just going to do go right here just to show you and I'll tell you that I'm actually using that. So I changed the database context to test. So we're actually in the test database now. So now what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm going to create a table and I'm gonna have an ID and a unit and then I'm gonna have a um, quantity. So I'm gonna hit enter here. And the next thing I wanna do is I want to insert data in there. So I'm going to enter it into inventory. I'm going to have these values here. So I'm going to have a stormtroopers, 150 of them. And then I'm going to have 154 type outs. And 
I'm just going to hit enter here. And then I'm just going to select everything here. So I'm just going to select everything from inventory. And I'm just going to hit enter here. And again, I'm just daily chaining these in. And when I'm ready to execute everything, I just hit go. <clears throat> and now it shows that I have one Stormtroopers and um, two TIE pilots. So if I wanted to, I could set there and like select star from inventory and where quantity Q U A N T I T Y is greater than let's say 151. And that's going to bring me back um, just the type pilots because there's 154 of them. So we're just showing like the records that I have a higher quantity than 151. And hit go. And then here we are, the two TIE pilots, 154. Um, I'll probably make another video like to show you more secret commands like in the um, future. Uh, but for now, um, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quit and just exit out to go back to my regular command line and just end the video here.